Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Vlogmas day four, and it is a little after 12. We just put the kids down for naps, and uh, we're just gonna hang out. Probably just gonna make myself a coffee, and then uh, we're, later we're gonna go get groceries, and then run in Hobby Lobby and let the kids pick out an ornament. And I think that'll be really fun. So we already did our advent this morning, and got to put another little ornament on their tree, and the tree looks so pretty this tree um, but for breakfast everyone just had oatmeal and then lunch we or eat lunch sandwiches um, for dinner I'm probably gonna do like a pizza from our Aldi grocery order I ended up just doing um, Aldi pickup this time uh, just to make it simple but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a coffee and then we're just gonna hang out <gasps> Hello. what's he doing I'm dressed for the day. I need to tidy up my bedroom. Just made myself a delicious Americano. Like this vlogging camera it is, is not the best quality when it's uh, cloudy outside. So just bear with me on that because I don't have a smartphone anymore. Um, this is this is what I have to use. So anyway, dress for the day. This is probably better lighting. Look at this cute mug. I found this at. Joanne Fabrics. It's one of my favorite places to go, <laughs> which I'm going to mention something in just a second. Uh, but they had all these like clearanced off the gold handle. Um, I definitely do like holiday mugs. Uh, I think they're fun to bring out during the season when I'm not using my other mugs. Uh, yeah, I'm just loving this mug. Love the yellow. It's my favorite. So I was reading all of y'all's super, super sweet and encouraging comments on the video that went up this morning, which was Vlogmas Day 2. And thank you guys so much for your encouragement and your ideas for entertaining little ones in the winter evenings uh, when you're just having really, really long days. Um, that was so encouraging. And if you're a stay-at-home mom and you are in the same boat, go read the comments from Vlogmas Day 2. They are so encouraging and there's so many great ideas. Uh, some of them I didn't even think of uh, and just to hear or just to read other moms experiences and uh, Their wisdom in that was encouraging Because yes, it definitely is a season and it's hard to remind myself that when I'm going through it because it's like Is there ever end in sight? <laughs> But yes, there is. Anyway, I just wanted to thank you guys all for those sweet, encouraging comments and ideas. I read every single one. Uh, I just want you guys to know I do read all your comments. Sometimes I do not have the time to reply back to everyone as much as I wish I could. If I just heart your comment, know that I have loved reading it and enjoy your your sweetness and you guys, your guys' support in watching my channel. It does definitely mean a lot to me. I also wanted to show you guys a project I've been working on. I have really been wanting to sew my own clothes. Uh, it's something that I uh, have always wanted to do when I was younger. Um, my Grammy's the one who taught me to sew, so I'm so thankful she taught me to sew. <laughs> I feel like that the, the talent or the skill of knowing how to use a sewing machine and all that is dying off, which is sad but I am encouraged that I get to teach my daughter that skill. Uh, but anyway, I went to Joanne Fabrics, I think a week ago, and I bought uh, some material to make two dresses, and I bought a couple different dress patterns, which I'll show you. I do want to make like a bunch of dresses to wear all spring and summer. I think that'd be so fun, like just cute, flowy, 
like summer dresses that I could wear just like everyday dresses. Okay, I'm gonna sit right here because it's picking up the white noise over there. I still need to make our bed. But anyway, I want to show you guys the dress that I'm working on. And it's definitely not the length that I wanted. It's a lot shorter than I was hoping. I wanted it to like hit right above my knee, but this is like way above my knee. So it's a good practice dress, uh, but I got enough material for another dress. So I'm gonna do the same pattern, but just use the longer length hem line and do it that way because I think it'd be way better. But my zippers did come in, and so I can finally finish the dress. So I think I'm gonna go downstairs and work on that. I think my husband's watching coffee espresso videos. <laughs> so I'm gonna work on that while he's just dabbling in that. Okay, so we are about to head out. Uh, the kids are all loaded in the car. Taylor's out there buckling the boys. I need to grab the diaper bag. And I just made them each a sandwich. And I just scarfed down the sandwich real fast because it's 2.36 and I'm feeling really hungry. We are also going to run to Walmart, pick up diapers and some yogurt and a couple other things. Because Aldi was out of diapers, so we're gonna get them at Walmart. And then we're gonna also go to Hobby Lobby. So that's kind of the plan. Uh, it's really windy and cloudy out today. So, but it's actually 55 degrees, so it's not terrible, which is nice. So we're gonna head out, go run some errands, take you guys along with us. Okay guys, we just got out of Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I'm starting to think that was not the best idea uh, because it was a madhouse with a stroller and uh, a cart, a lot of work. But we got, the, each of the kids took out an ornament and then I did find some gold ornament ball, traditional Christmas ornaments. Anyway, we also went to uh, Walmart, picked up diapers and everything. And uh, now we're off to Aldi to pick up our groceries. So lots of good things that we got done. So for dinner, we're gonna do this 
pizza and then I think we're gonna do the rest of the chili so some everyone will get a little bit of chili and then this pizza I didn't end up getting two pizzas but they uh, refunded us for one of them so but we did get all the groceries put away ovens preheating and then just some stuff that we got at Walmart toothbrushes for the kids and some toothpaste parchment paper and then Noble requested candy cane. Take it, Bubba. Yep. Just one. And then we ended up getting Noble two uh, new sweatpants. I love their sweatpants from Walmart. Uh, these are just 4T because he has shot up so much, but also because he's crawling, he's wearing the knees out in his sweatpants. And then Ivy needed some new socks, so I found these. I really love the Modern Moments brand, that's really cute. And then these are the little sleepers I got her because she's outgrowing her other ones. So I thought that was really cute. Why is this not focusing? Little mushrooms. And then this was the other one I got her that I thought was super cute. We just got done eating dinner. We had that pizza that I showed. It was like the organic margarita pizza. I do not recommend it. It was like a lot smaller than the box. So the box was already small, but the pizza was even smaller. <laughs> so it could feed like one person, <laughs> even like one adult grown man. That's how small the pizza was. Um, and it was very, it's kind of pricey. I thought it was going to be a bigger pizza, and I thought, oh, cool, they have organic pizzas. Mm, I don't recommend it. It's not worth the money. But uh, we just fin cleaned up the chili, had that pizza, and uh, then we had the pie that we bought yesterday and some vanilla ice cream with it for dessert. Super yummy. And uh, now I need to clean the kitchen and get the house tidied. We still need to do... Um, our family worship and then um, kids are gonna go to bed. I just laid Ivy down. Taylor's giving the boys a quick bath so I'm gonna get going on cleaning the kitchen up. Uh, I'll show a quick glimpse of what ornaments the boys got. Uh, Noble picked out a school bus and then Field picked out a baseball and then for Ivy I just picked out a basic baby's first Christmas ornament that, that was pink. They didn't have a ton to choose from in the baby girl section I had a lot of pink, a lot of really cute ballerinas and stuff, but no like a major baby one. So yeah, I think it'd be fun to do this every year. I'm not like super sentimental person. So, uh, I don't know. So <laughs> we'll see if I continue this tradition. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning up the kitchen and get all that put away and cleaned up. Oh, I was gonna show you guys. This is a little nativity that Busy Puzzle sent me, I think last year. Super cute. I just put it up here on the little windowsill. Um, I do need to take the boys' toothbrushes upstairs and I've got like two big pots to wash. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started.
Well, you guys, the kids are officially in bed and laundry is going. The kitchen and dining room are all clean. Dishes are clean. Everything is tidy, ready for in the morning. Hope you guys enjoyed Vlogmas Day 4. And uh, tomorrow, I think it's just gonna be a pretty laid back day. Tomorrow is Taylor and I's wedding anniversary. It's our sixth year wedding anniversary. And we talked about a couple things. We're definitely not going anywhere because we don't have any babysitters um, or anything like that. But uh, I think we're just gonna do like a date night in tomorrow night or something. Um, but we'll see. But oh, it has been a long day, a long but good day. And uh, ready to wind down, get to editing this video, and we'll probably watch Downton Abbey or something like that. I finally got my husband hooked on Downton Abbey, you guys. <laughs> I feel like it has taken me six years to get him hooked. Um, I think he thought it was cheesy for the longest time, but he never really watched it. Finally, I was like, just sit down and let's watch it. And now he's like completely hooked. Do not tell him I said that though, but <laughs> I'm a huge Downton Abbey fan and they did just come out with a movie. And so that's why I was like, we have to watch all this first before we watch the movie together. So that's how I got him hooked. But such a good series and I love how wholesome it is I mean there's some things in it I don't agree with uh, but for the most part it's pretty wholesome and I love that and I love British classics and movies and stuff like that so anyway um, I think we're gonna just wind down enjoy our evening I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you tomorrow for vlogmas day 5 bye